In this video, we will level the ACME database. This means that we'll make sure that it is the same for all users. Previously, you imported a SQL file to create two tables in the ACME database and created a third table from scratch. To alleviate any potential inconsistencies in the client's table, we will re-import the SQL file after some alterations to make sure that all of the ACME tables are the same for everyone. Download the acme-db.sql.zip file from the link provided in the class materials. Move the zip file to the SQL folder within the ACME project folder. Unzip the file. Open the acme-db.sql file and scroll down to around line 111. You should see that there are additional queries for creating the client's table at the bottom of the file, but they are commented out. Using NetBeans, you can comment a line or uncomment a line by highlighting the line or lines, or simply clicking in a line, and pressing your command and forward slash keys on a Mac, or your control and forward slash keys in Windows. Uncomment, meaning remove the double hyphens, on the following line. Lines 119 through 128. Lines 133 and 134. Lines 139 and 140. When done, make sure that there are no errors, meaning red icons or underlines, in the file. Save the file. Make sure that your Apache and MySQL servers are running. Open the PHP MyAdmin tool in a browser window. Click the Acme database to select it. Click the Import tab. Click the Choose File button. Navigate to and select the acme-db.sql file. Then click the Open button. Scroll to the bottom of the import page and click the Go button. You should see a green bar indicating that the queries were successful. On the left, beneath the ACME database, you should see the three tables, Categories, Clients, and Inventory. Having done this, your ACME database should now be the same as everyone else in the class, and you are ready to proceed with future use of the ACME database.